Hello, this is Ben and Marina from Notes in Spanish, and we've got some great words and phrases for you today uh, to do with adding emphasis in Spanish. But first, we have to admit to a terrible mistake I made in an email. It was an email from one of our newsletters about uh, the word marron, which means mm -hmm. a real nightmare. Mm -hmm. So one example we gave was, I've got a nightmare at home because everybody's ill and I can't go to work. Uh, how did I say that, Marina? Tengo un marrón en casa, todos tienen la gripe y yo no puedo faltar al trabajo. Okay, so then I said we can make this sound, or Marina gave the suggestion, we can yeah. make this sound much bigger by using the word instead of marrón. Tengo un marronazo. It's a huge pain in the neck. Yeah, by going from marrón to marronazo, it just emphasizes it massively. Unfortunately, I spelt marronazo wrong. I spelt it maranazo. <laughs> Marano. Bueno, we got an email from our friend Isabel at uh, amigosingleses.com saying, ha, 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 I laughed my head off when I read your email because saying you've got a maranazo at home means you've got a big pig at home. Un marano is a pig and it sounds like you've got loads of disgusting guests in the house. <laughs> so it should have been maranazo. By the way, Marina, if somebody's a real pig in the way they eat or dress or something, apart from marano, what else could you call them? Eh, guarro. Eres un guarro o es un guarro. Right. Un when, cerdo. Cerdo, guarro o marrano. When someone is either eating with bad manners or has very dirty clothes. Yeah. My mm. favorite is guarro. <laughs> ¿Qué guarro eres? You're a real pig. Actually, there is a place in Andalucía called Guarro Man. Yeah, my favorite pueblo in Spain, <laughs> Guarro Man, because it sounds like a real piggy man. <laughs> a bit of Spanglish there. I've been there, actually. It's very, very nice Andaluz pueblo. Okay. Azo. So we went from marrón to marronazo. Marano, marranazo. Uh, azo is... A, it, there's lots of really cool words in, in Spanish here in Spain which end in azo. So Marina's going to run us through some of those now. Yeah. We have two possibilities. Either using azo at the end to make something sound bigger or some words that use azo at the end and that's the construction they have. They don't increase in size. So for the first uh, type we would have gustazo. Qué gustazo, mm, qué bien se está el sol. Right, meaning, ah, it's lovely to be lying in the sun. It comes from gusto, qué gusto, how nice. Qué gustazo, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, another one. Qué cochazo, wow, qué cochazo te has comprado. What a big car you've bought. You know, coche, car. Cochazo, cochazo pff, what a car. You might be really big, really expensive, something like that. With the dog to menudo perrazo, or yeah. menudo perrazo se me ha echado encima hoy. This huge dog jumped on me today. Perro to perrazo. Mm -hmm. You can't put azo on whatever word you like. You can't say I've got a big nose. Que narizazo. It There's doesn't... just some words you do, some words you don't. Mm -hmm. um, we'll list as many as we can uh, on the underneath this video or with the blog post that goes with this video. But you can use azo in feminine too. You can say que madraza. What a mum. Mum of the year. <laughs> or padrazo. Exactly. Fantastic dad. He's not just a padre, es un padrazo. Mm -hmm. He's a great dad. Okay. And for the other kind, the ones that they don't... Uh, it's not used as, a, as an ending or as a suffix. It's just the way the word is. For example, we have puñetazo. Puñetazo is a, a thump. So, for example, if a sister says to her mum that her brother's just given her a thump, how, how would you say that, Marina? Mamá, me ha dado un puñetazo. Yeah, my brother's just whacked me. <laughs> También portazo. When the, uh, a door is a, a slams, either because there's some windows open or because someone does it on purpose, you can say, qué portazo, or eh, no des un portazo. Stop. Don't slam the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Portazo. From puerta. Yeah. And then we have pedazo. Pedazo literally means a little bit, a, a, a portion of something. Uh, but uh, colloquially, it can be used to mean um, that something is big, uh, which is a bit contradictory. Yeah. Uh, for example, ¿Qué pedazo de casa te has comprado? What a huge house you've bought, yeah. So we use, I said earlier you couldn't say narizazo, but you could say 
ese hombre tiene un pedazo de nariz. Exactly. He's got a huge nose. So if you want to say something's big but it doesn't have its own word with atho on or isn't commonly used with atho, you can use pedazo. Exactly. Yeah. Pedazo de video que acabamos de hacer. Could Fantástico, claro. What a fantastic video we just made. We hope so. Qué gustazo. Qué gustazo. Eso. Bueno, mil gracias y nos vemos pronto con otro video. And meanwhile, do remember to check out all of our audios at notesinspanish.com and sign up for our newsletter. We promise not to make any more mistakes like Maranazo. <laughs> Hasta luego. Adiós.